Hello and welcome back to some SRX racing. This time we're showcasing the other side of the SRX experience, and that is the dirt side. Yes, that is the cool thing about these cars, is they could be on paved and dirt, and uh, hopefully have some fun racing. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. Got a nice message. Apply to that real quick. Appreciate it. Good luck. Good luck to them as we are all learning this car together. Uh, we'll uh, go ahead and qualify. Um, I'm really actually enjoying how this drives on dirt. It's uh, it reminds me a little bit of like how when we were driving like the uh, the late model, um, dirt late model in the K5 Championship, and so. That was a car I got to experience a lot of, flag, and a little flag. bit of like how the street okay, stock races on dirt. Fast lap. So those are like the things that I actually have a little bit of experience with on iRacing here. Which is great, but uh, that all said, not good on dirt in general. So I'm just uh, gonna be struggling probably, but uh, at least I don't feel completely terrible. All right, that was a little bit faster with the 471. Right now we are P2. <laughs> Steven says he has screwed up both his laps. I almost did. I got close to the wall. It takes just a slight tap of both walls in order to. Uh, ruin your run. Oh, we got a two in there. Look at the five out there hitting a two. So we've got some speed to gain. P4 though I'm feeling pretty good about. Um, I'm just taking whatever I can get when I'm on dirt. Uh, you'll also notice I'm running third gear. I've actually much preferred that. I've been hitting my fastest laps in third gear. I don't know if I'm actually dumb to do that, <laughs> but uh, I've been feeling much better like I can control this thing much better in third gear so I'm gonna run with it for now um, I'll continue fiddling with it like fourth gear and stuff practicing in the future but right now I'm doing my best racing holding it in third gear and I'm able to hold on to it best with it so that's what I'm just gonna go with for now I'm gonna go ahead and stop it 2.8k strength of field. Yeah, in practice I keep bouncing off the walls, especially out of, um... Out of you know, turn two over there. It's really easy to start pushing out wide. Actually, no, it's out of four. That's the one. I'm. That's why I was, like, confused for a second. That's out of four. That's whenever, like, because you kind of have to cut a little bit lower on the exit there, it feels like. And, uh, yeah, hit the wall lap one, spawn on lap two. That's very easy to do. Um, yeah, it feels like it pushes towards the wall really easily, especially when you're on the gas, when you have to exit out of four. Um, You'll notice you got really nothing to change in here. You got steering offset, and that's it. Um, same story as on the pave side. You can change the brake bias. I'm pretty sure in the car, but not outside of the car. So that's interesting. It is a handful. Yeah, uh, say. let them know that I'm running third. I don't know if that's like something everybody knows and I'm just late to the party here or what, but uh, I have noticed it's it likes to snap 
more when I'm like using fourth gear. Maybe I'm just gassing it up too much, and that's what's doing that's that to me. But uh, I don't know. I'll pass that along. I don't know if that's helpful information or if I'm like poisoning people's minds with misinformation. But uh, we'll see how the race goes. Uh, we are gonna start fourth. Yeah, true. <laughs> All still learning. That's exactly why I'm saying, like, hey, maybe I'll be running third gear right now, and then later realize, wait a minute, that's uh, the estimated that's a SOS terrible idea. <laughs> so got that all together. Normally, I'll put my force feedback lower on dirt, but it's actually not really bothering me at all having it at 6.5. So I'm just kind of keeping it there. Saves me from having to switch that back later, too, which is kind of nice. I'm hoping this will at least be a clean race. I want to get some laps in, get some experience racing around other guys, and uh, hopefully it's not just a big pileup immediately. Which, uh, dirt racing tends to do anyway, and add to that, everyone's new to this car, and add to that, it's week 13 on official, and uh, I, I'm a little bit worried. But all I can really ask for here is that we hopefully get some laps in and um, get some good race experience. That's uh, kind of like that last video I did. I had two attempts in the one video where uh, I got taken out immediately in the first attempt. But then the second race, I actually had a, a good little battle for uh, trying to get second and uh, survived that one to the end. So that went much better. Hopefully we don't have to do two attempts for this one. Hopefully it can be a one, one go here. And then tonight I've got a uh, Nyx hosting an event in this car as well. So we're going to be seeing a lot of this car. Um, I think he said Irwindale we're bringing these things to, the paved track. 30. Not that there is a they dirt track, but just to clarify, we're going paved racing in the SRX for that one. And that's going to be a longer form race. We'll see how this car evolves on longer runs, which should be interesting. Excited for that one. I'm really, uh, really liking this car, though. I think there's a lot of great potential for some good racing here. The fact that I'm even enjoying it on dirt <laughs> says a lot. Let's see what gear we should be starting in. Maybe second gear? Looks like we get a pretty good launch. Even gassing up pretty hard. Under your hat, folks. It's about to get wet <laughs> Yeah. He's not wrong. Like I said, lots of reasons this could get bad. <laughs> lots of good feedback, though. I'm, I mean, pretty much everybody I've heard has been praising this car, and I gotta agree so far. No dissenting opinion from me. I've enjoyed it both on the dirt and on uh, the solid stuff. Well, at least it's behind me. But I'll probably do the exact same thing, so don't worry. Okay, okay. Off. Time to do your job. Green 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 okay, easy. Maybe I should have been, uh... <laughs> Maybe I should have been in third gear. Hold hard to the left more than I expected. Or Get into that wall. Definitely don't want to be grabbing the wall a bunch. Lewis is now in the lead. Slow car down low. Uh oh, slow car down low. What's that all about? I put that car all weird. We're slide jobbing each other up there. Your last lap time was Twitchy bastard. Bouncing off of each other. Trying to remember to be smooth, not okay, smash my gas pedal. I do like this really low line in uh, 3 and 4. I think that works really well if I can hit that correctly. Time was 18.8. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. 
quickest so far running down there, so I'll try that again. That behind was getting really close. Carry more speed through one and two. You just gotta be kind of brave. I've noticed you can use some throttle to get it turning on the high side, but it's uh, nerve wracking. You don't want to slide up and hit that wall, of course. That lap was at eighteen point seven. Low car up high. Car stopped up high. Car stopped up high. Good thing I'm going down here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stopped up high. I'm glad I went down there, because I think that was two people on our lap that just got taken out. You're in second position right now. Yeah, we are in second position. I don't know if we got anything from the leader, but we're in a good, place, good spot. Up now. Car stopped low and high, so I guess we'll go middle. Oh, Jesus, okay. We'll go around him on the outside then. That lap was a 19.5. Don't hit that wall, don't hit the wall. It's so easy to get the wall, man. Down the low side, I like that a lot. More slow cars ahead. The gap behind's increased to 1.0. You've just done a 19.0. Just really trying not to uh, slam the throttle if I can avoid it, especially through the middle of the corner. Just using tiny bits of throttle at a time. That leader's going pretty darn fast. I wonder what he's doing. P2. Oh, he's that guy that had the really fast lap. I think he was the pole setter. This highlight's pretty fun to run on the high side of 1 and 2. I do think uh, it's better on the low side 3 and 4, but... It is pretty fun to run up top over there on the other side of the track. It's getting slicker though, so I gotta be extra careful on entry. Hey, who knows? Maybe the leader will like burn up his tires or something. The tire heat will cause him to slow down. That'd be cool. This is so much better than I usually do in dirt, though. Like, for real. Usually I'm, like, watching the field drive away in last place, and that's not an exaggeration. You know if you've ever seen me run a dirt of war race. I am terrible on dirt. So the fact I'm running second right now is pretty awesome. Well, hopefully that'll last, or and I don't get left in the, uh, in the dust once everybody figures this car out, but... Being competitive in a dirt race? That is making me happy. Down Still have to not wreck though. Speaking of, that guy wrecked and had to dodge him, made me slide up on the wall. That's okay, just a tiny little hit, that shouldn't do anything to us. You can see as the track changes, people running the high line in one two. Ooh, almost got the wall. Maybe did a tiny bit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. Had to thread the needle a little bit there, but we're fine. Okay, guy in front of us blinking. Make sure that we can uh, get around him safely. I hope. Outside. Clear outside. Outside. Gotta go low Keep here. Low. Clear up top. Maybe do a little bit of a slide. No, not so much. I'm not brave enough. I'm just gonna stay low. Rev it up a little get a bit, get it turned on entry. That'll work. Actually, you know what? Is the lower line in? You've just done a nineteen point three. I didn't feel so bad that lap. Slow car download. Lots of slow cars. Slow car download. Slow car download. Okay, 
guess we gotta go high side this time. Go high. Tend to go this time by. Uh oh, don't hit the wall. Okay, I had a bad angle. Doesn't have enough steering angle to be a good dirt car. It is interesting you can't change your steering ratio in this car, too. Uh, that's another thing that I noticed along with the brake bias. Normally with uh, dirt racing, I know I and uh, a lot of other guys like to put the steering ratio pretty much all the way down, or, you know, as responsive as possible for dirt racing, so your movements of the wheel make a bigger difference, but uh, not adjustable in the SRX, so that's interesting. I don't know what it actually technically is, ratio-wise, right now. I don't know if it says that anywhere. Did I just see the leader approaching on the other side of the track? Holy cow. I mean, maybe he didn't have to dodge in a Rex. And, uh, we had to slow down for some stuff, but regardless, that is impressive. He's gonna be loving this series on the dirt, I bet. He's gonna be winning every race with that kind of pace. He's lapping the field. But how many laps we got to go? We got five to go at the line. We got 2.3 back to the guy behind us. So hopefully I can hold on to that. Try down here. Five to go. Keep it up. We're in a great spot. I maybe should have migrated down lower sooner. It does look like maybe it's faster right now. That last lap was a Rev it up pretty three. good, get it turned on entry. Yeah, I think uh, with it being less slick down here, we've got a little more speed. That's something I've got to get used to if I'm going to run dirt. Where's that guy? Okay. I was like, where'd he go? Uh, I gotta get used to adjusting my line, even if the other one's still technically working, like... Two left to go. Track changes, to go. so I gotta be willing to switch where I'm running, because there could be speed over there. I mean, heck, even on pavement, I gotta get used to that with uh, the track temp changes, dynamic track. They're only gonna keep Two working on that, it and we'll uh, it's gonna become more and more important over time to be willing to experiment, so... I gotta make sure I have that mindset. What flag this time? Good lesson to take from uh, dirt here that I could uh, uh, potentially apply elsewhere to racing. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on right, the now we're on the white that flag. The leader has made a mockery of the field, but a silver medal looking pretty good to me. Heck yeah! And I kept it clean too. Well done, Colton. Great drive. That's a podium. Check right, flag, Yeah, flag. I know we had to dodge a couple things. Nice run. Solid it wasn't bad at all. There wasn't any big messes or anything, as far as I could tell. We'll uh, take a look at the incidents and see what did happen. I know we did have some accidents for sure. Lots of slow cars up and down the field, but we didn't have a huge pileup on the start, as far as I could tell. Here's what the tires say. I was getting on the right rear a little bit. Jason says good race. He dominates. 13 seconds up on myself. I'm curious what like his dirt oval I rating is because Race Lab is showing oval ratings right now. And of course these numbers don't mean anything because it's unofficial. I'm curious if he's like a, a guy that's like really highly ranked dirt oval or if... Uh, Or if I don't have a good excuse for being so much slower. <laughs> Alright, so what happened out here? Lap 1 coming through turn 2. The 2 car just comes all the way down and wrecks the guy for some reason. I don't know if he just didn't know the 6 was there, but comes all the way down the track. Hooks the 6 and the, I think it's 12 up there. Just wrong place, wrong time. Nope, that's a 72. That number you normally are able to see out here. That stinks. Oh, that was Steven, too. That sucks. Nothing he could do about that. Hopefully he'll, he'll get another chance to run this and have a little bit of better luck next time. Seven trying a slider. 
technically works, but he loses way more momentum time than he gained out of that. Two hitting the wall a little bit. I wonder how much wall riding is going to work in this car. Didn't seem to gain him much there. And I noticed in practice it really does suck you in to the wall pretty good, so unless you're going to like flat foot it against the wall, which maybe the two is trying right now. I don't know. That didn't seem to work too well for him either, so hopefully that's not a big thing in this car. A lot of dirt oval cars, you can just kind of stick to the wall and flat foot it, and then you're going through the corner real fast. They've made some steps to improve that, though. I know the cars are a little more fragile than they used to be. There's here's this guy beating up his car on the outside wall. That probably wasn't good for it. Here's your leader. He's taking the outside. He's taking the uh, outside line in three and four. Yeah, he's really good. Look how precise he is. He knows what he's doing. I wouldn't be surprised if he's highly rated on Dirt Oval. You can just tell. <laughs> like, you can see how close he's able to get it to the wall. He, can, he adjusts his line to the low side just fine there as the guys are wrecking, which uh, we're seeing right now. I think the six just self spawn and then really hard to slow down on Dirt. This is when the two guys in front of us got caught up in it, I think, isn't it? Because we're in fourth place right now. Second and third, I think, are going to get involved in this. Guys backwards. Yeah, there they are. That stinks. I'm lucky I was already planning to run low. Lap 7. Oh, they're, they're still wrecking. Oh, my lord. They're all over the track. Oh, no. The 3 kind of just spins it to not be involved in that. Ugh. I'm scared on behalf of the five, even though I know he made it to the end just fine. This is the wreck that never ends. They're still sideways in turn four. At ten, I guess the five's kind of using the wall a little bit, so... Looks like uh, the guys who are really precise like that still can kind of like bounce off uh, that right rear. Use the wall if they need to. Because we're getting a whole lot of him doing that. Not that that's the reason he won. He obviously would have won probably if he was taking the opposite line every corner. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing on Dirt Oval. Two looks like they're like revving it up way too much. Or Yeah, they're trying to see if you can stick it to the outside wall, maybe. I don't know. Steven got a new car. I guess fast repairs are on. That doesn't surprise me because week 13. Everyone's just trying to get some experience. I think that's probably as good a time as any. The two still uh, testing out, flat footing it, doing the Ross Chastain line. They've got the light switch pedal that that two did. Jeff Gordon's gonna spin. <laughs> I feel like uh, as soon as this car released, like three milliseconds later, there was a Jeff Gordon and a Dale Earnhardt scheme. Those are probably the first things that appear, like, on Trading Paints immediately when a car releases. It doesn't even matter what series, I bet. You get a new formula car, and you get a Dale Earnhardt and a Jeff Gordon scheme immediately. Seven gets loose, hits the inside wall. The way that 12's designed makes me think of, like, a Barbasol painted car. Just without the sponsors. It's got like the American flag looking thing on the side side of it. Just some wall hits that we're seeing right now. Five. I'm watching to see if he ever actually makes any mistakes, but now nah, he's just kind of using that right rear. Help him through the corner. Here's some contact. 24 gets sent around. Some blinking from a couple of guys. Here's P4. Looking like there aren't too many more car-on-car -car wrecks. It looks like there's guys just doing some spinning. What we see in from the leader here. Oh, this is afterward. He's celebrating. He celebrates his win. So, that'll do it. Here are guys just messing around afterward, I think. Yeah, they're just playing around now. Spinning it out. 
Steven's going to be upside down. So that will do it for this one. Congrats to the five on a win. Uh, he'll probably be getting plenty of official wins soon enough, I imagine, with that kind of speed. But hey, I got a P2, which uh, I'm thrilled about. So a uh, good start for the uh, SRX on dirt for me. And uh, thank you for watching that first uh, dirt race. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.